From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening on Evenings Crypto and Overnight's Crypto tonight and tomorrow morning because boy, a lot of top cryptocurrency coins of 2021 could be making you good money. We'll be going over the top coins to invest in in 2021, which cryptos are going to the moon and which ones are falling down. A series of new coins are debuted on the Gemini platform and two of the coins have had a beautiful run this Thursday evening going into Friday morning. One of the coins is taking people to the dry cleaners on the other hand. We'll be going over a lot of these coins and you're just gonna see no more, no less than about a dozen to two dozen coins in this video. In this video, we'll be going over the three trading opportunities you have for buying and selling, flipping and day trading coins. We'll be looking at Decentraland currently getting close to that buying opportunity. Live Peer getting really cheap, but not cheap enough. Barnbridge having one of another big day. Why does it continue to have a big day? Alchemic, a new coin that debuted on the Gemini platform today, absolutely taking people to the dry cleaners. Amp, having that big run to 12 cents this morning, now falling quickly. Panthon, Fan, excuse me, Phantom, which also debuted today, having a very good first day on Gemini. Mirror, Mirror, also having a big, beautiful day to start the trading activity on the Gemini platform. Then we're looking at Bitcoin, really falling badly tonight. Ethereum, getting very low to a buying opportunity. Doge, sinking further. And AMP again. It's a big night, and thank you for joining me on this evening's crypto and overnight's crypto broadcast. Wow, what a day it has been. In. A lot of breaking news, but first subscribe. This is LA, the fastest growing cryptocurrency channel there is. 400,000 subscribers, YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million viewers. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers in one year. I want you part of this family. Fastest growing cryptocurrency channel for a reason. If you're new to finding this channel, this is what I do. I cover all the buying and selling possibilities techniques that you need to learn to crypto to buy and make big money in cryptocurrency. Number two, I cover a lot of coins, as many coins as I can in a 30 minute video. Number three, I show you different opportunities, whether the market's flat, down or up to make money. My focus is having you make money on day one. We're not here to be fans of coins. We're here to be fans of our pocketbooks, getting big monies across the board. So let's start with the breaking news. The breaking news, of course, is probably AMP. Let's go right into AMP. AMP was the coin that got all the major coverage of broadcast media, uh, print media, and also internet media in the last few days. It was a coin that we detailed coming to fruition a few days ago, about seven days ago, at three cents and then running up a cent every single day. This was once a coin that was sub one cent. And if you look back at the chart, this is just less than a few days ago. It was three cents, four cents. If you're, watch, if, you're in the, if you're watching right now, let me tell you what you're looking at. You're looking at one of the platforms, Gemini.com, to buy a coin. You're looking at one coin named AMP. I'm in the chart, so my mouse is moving through the chart. So you're seeing the price of the coin change as I move up the chart of the coin. You see a big run up. That's what happened. The coin was three cents just about a week ago, and then every day went up a, doll, a, a cent. It went from three cents to 12 cents in literally just a week. Here is the seven-day chart, and here is the 24-hour chart. So now you see it's downturning. It got to 12 cents this morning early on morning's crypto and is now sinking down to nine cents. So why? Well, it's important to always know what a coin is doing. And it's also important to know what a coin will do. I had told you this was going to happen. <laughs> there was a lot of things I said I don't know what to say about AMP. But I knew one thing to say about AMP, which was no coin always goes up. It eventually goes down. After that, it gets a little more complicated. As Hussein, one of our viewers on Overnight Crypto, says, it's going to fall and then it's going to go back up. I agree. The question is how low is it going to fall? The reason why it ran up is really important for you to know so you apply this for other coins. One, there was nothing going on. The industry was flat. The coins were flat for literally three weeks. Up, down, up, down, 3%. No one makes money on that. No one makes money up, down, down 3%. This was the only coin that gave you the bigger buying opportunity. Why did it run? 
It had a big social media push. It was Doge 2.0. It had a Reddit subgroup. It had a Discord. It had a big Twitter pushing, and it literally ran up. But no one thought this was sustainable. But would this go higher in the long term? I believe it will. I believe it's going to go very, very high. So when to get into it? Just have to be patient. I'm going to detail that later in this video. But the other breaking news tonight, and this is the first time you're hearing it on this channel, is the debut of coins. Now, the debut of coins is different than the IPO of a stock. <laughs> Let me explain what this means. The coins which I'm going to go over that debuted today on Gemini are Alchemic, Anchor Network, Phantom, and Mirror Protocol. We'll go over the, each of them in a second. But what you need to know is that most of these coins have been around before. They have been list act they've been traded other places before. So what does that mean for you? That you can look at a seven-day chart. You can look at a three-month chart. Perhaps you can look at a, a, a six-month chart. These coins have been around a while. They just got started to be listed on Gemini. So when you go to Gemini, especially on the advanced platform, you won't see seven-day charts. You won't see three-month charts. So don't think that there's no other chart for that coin past today, behind today, uh, for yesterday, for Monday, for Tuesday, or this week. There is. It's just not on Gemini. So you need to go to other platforms like CoinMarketCap.com to learn about the coin before you're getting in. All right. Now, obviously, this is a new subject for this channel. New coins getting added to a exchange. How should you approach it? Earlier this morning, I told you how to approach it, and I guess I was right. I said, you have to be very, very, very cautious because you don't know really where this coin is going. The fact that it's added to an exchange means much of nothing because this coin currently has investors and buyers and sellers over the last few weeks. It's just on another exchange. So that's not a reason for the coin to go through the roof necessarily. And also you can get really burnt. And that's why we're going to look at some of those charts starting right now. So Phantom, uh, this is its chart right on Gemini. So look at that. Came to market on Gemini at 42 cents this morning, then ran all the way up to 85 cents. Yeah, that is a beautiful return. I told you this morning that Phantom was a day tradable coin boy was i right because if you had bought it this morning you had hours to buy it look how long it was at 40 cents you could have bought it at 40 cents and you had hours up here to sell it 70 cents 80 cents take your time sell it at 87 cents double your money and get right out of it and look where it is right now 31 cents so two things to learn from that chart one phantom was up this morning i told you on air that phantom was up 20%. You know what that means? Let's jump in. Let's go out of order right now because we are talking about Phantom. Phantom was a day tradable coin. And I said it this morning, how did I know it? Because I told you how you do this. You go to coinmarketcap.com or you go to Gemini. You click on the link that ranks coins based upon, uh, based upon the biggest activity moving upward at the moment. Let me show you what that means. First, let me show you how we find those coins. Let's jump over the screen right now. So here is Gemini. You go to the Gemini page, column one, two, three over. You click it, and it's going to rank the coins based upon worst performance. Okay, first it's showing Alchemist because it's the worst performing coin of the day. You're going to click that column again, and it's going to rank them based upon best performing coin. Okay, see there? The network coin, number one, Mirror, which I'm going to go over in a second. Second best coin, Phantom, third best coin. So that gave you an indicator of how you can look for those day tradable coins. What do I look for? I look for a coin that's up 20% so I can get into the coin when it's up 20%, get out when it's up 80%. That's exactly what I said about Phantom this morning. I could almost run the day. Now, what, is what did Phantom give you? A 100% return, a double your money. In at 40 cents, out it's at 80 cents. And <laughs> it's down, down, back below where it even came out. So there you go. That was a day tradable coin this morning, Phantom. Mirror, uh, <laughs> Lord, look at that. Started today on Gemini 5, 33, fell to what? 333. Goodness, that's horrible. 
that that what is that? That that's a big bad drop. That's almost that's almost forty percent drop. Then back up to almost eighty percent of its value. Then back down. Then up. Oh Lord. Uh, so the fact that Gemini says it's up a lot for the day, you know, you have to look out at its chart. Just because it's up on Gemini's chart, where it's just starting to trade, it doesn't mean it's up a lot. So there's Mirror, there's Phantom, and there's Amp. I'll come back to Amp in a second. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is awful. This is alchemic. I detailed this on Mornings L uh, Mornings Crypto. It's worse now than it was this morning. Uh, this was the third coin. I, I, I told you the coins that Gemini debuted today. Alchemic, Anchor Network, Phantom, and Mirror. You just saw Phantom and you saw Mirror. Here is Alchemic. Uh, awful. Look at this. $900 came to market, went to... What it go to? Fifteen hundred. Hey, congratulations! I bought Alchemic at fifteen hundred because you know it's a new coin. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna bring it to the moon. Bam! By the end of the night, how much is your fifteen hundred dollar investment worth? Four seventy one. You lost. What is that? Seventy five percent of your investment. Imagine if you bought a fifteen hundred and it's now four seventy one. That's awful. In just four hours, it shows you have to be really know what you're doing. You can't just sort of. If it's a new coin, you really have to be careful with yourself. So, boy, oh boy. Now, here's Barnbridge. Uh, <laughs> Tina was asking about Barnbridge the other day. Barnbridge is continually going up every day. I don't particularly like Barnbridge because it's sort of a flat coin, but it, it is making a nice run. Um, Barnbridge has been consistently ignored this spike in the middle here. But this was a 20-something coin, $20 coin. And it's going up at about a $2, $3 every day. I don't like it because it's not much of a run. But if you want something sort of flat and stable, it's nice. It's having a nice upward trend. So for Tina, who's saying, what about Barnbridge? Well, it's, it's nice. It goes straight up. Not a lot of big return for me. And then there's Live Peer, which is plummeting, but not falling enough. Which brings me into my second trading opportunity. This is my flippable coins. My coins that I'm going to buy at a certain price point when the market crashes, downturns, corrects itself, whatever you call it, and then I'm going to sell as soon as the market rebounds. Let me go over the coins, get that pen and paper ready. I'll give you the price points entering, entering and the price points exiting. They are Polygon, in at $0.08, cents, out of $2. Engine Coin, ENJ, in at $0.80, cents, out of $2. Decentraland, in at 50 cents, out at a dollar. Ave, in at $500, in at 250, out at $500. Live Peer, in at $11, out of $33. What am I doing? What I'm doing is I'm buying a coin so I can get out at double the money. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get Phantom today. I could have done Phantom in a few hours like that, but I didn't get Phantom. Uh, but ultimately, I'm showing you the technique. If you had gotten Phantom by following the technique, you would have made this money. Live Peer, I'm trying to triple my money. Ultimately, I want a coin that I'm getting in at like a dollar and selling at $2 or in at a dollar selling at $3. How do I know I can do this? Because the coin has done this before. The coin does the same thing. Here is an example of Polygon. Polygon goes 80 cents, $2 and stops and goes right back down. 80 cents, $2, right back down. So it doesn't go to $3 and it doesn't go to 50 cents. It just trades in this range, which I'm happy with that range. That is a range where I can double my money. But I have to wait till it goes to 80 cents. I can't set buy it in the middle of the range because then I'm not making money. I want to double my money. I don't want to get a half of my money back. I want to double my money. So the coins are getting cheaper, but still not there yet tonight. But they are getting cheaper. Let's look at some of those coins right now. Decentraland. Uh, you're looking at a 24-hour chart. Again, 50 cents at Decentraland. We're really close. How low do we get? 67 cents. That is almost the lowest we've seen Decentraland. Now, the problem I have with Decentraland is this chart that it really only rebounded to a dollar once and didn't hold it there. So I'm worried about the exit strategy on Decentraland. I think I can get it 50 cents in the next two days, but I'm worried that I can get a dollar. How long will I have to wait a dollar? This was three weeks ago. So ultimately, I have to gauge the risk. Live Peer, it's 24, but I don't want 24. I want 11 out of 33. So live peer may not drop low enough. See, there you go. This $20, this, this price point right now, it doesn't work for me. Barnbridge was a 20 cent coin. I don't think I even want to touch it at this point. 
Um, AMP, I'll come back to you in a second. But there is uh, there is now my third set of coins. So my third set of coins are my coins which I want to buy and hold. Those have to go into a market correction for me to buy them because they're too expensive right now. What are the price points and what are the coins? I want Bitcoin at about 31000 I want Ethereum at about 1500 1700 1900 I want a Doge in the 20s. Well, Doge is almost there. Doge is 30 I want to get Doge in the 20s. What is the concept? Put it away for a couple of years and Doge will be a dollar. Easy breezy. Uh, Ethereum, put it away. It'll be at 10000 in a few years. Bitcoin, put it away. It'll be at 100000 in a few years. Now, they're not going to get that return in a few months. So this is money you're going to put away and not look at for a long time. Some people don't like that strategy. That's not why – that some people just don't like buying and holding. But are those coins heading that direction? They are, at least in the case of Ethereum. Ethereum is potentially just two days away from giving us that price point. Uh, there we go. There is Ethereum. So 2300 My recommendation on Ethereum – is that if Ethereum gets under 2200, we're crashing. That's the first time you're hearing this on Evenings Crypto and Overnight's Crypto. If Ethereum gets a 2200, we're crashing. How do I say that? How do I know that? Because <laughs> the screen reacts to me. Um, because the last time it corrected itself was here when it got to 1900. Right before it got to 1900, it was at about 2200. And that 2200, here we go, was right there. So if it gets under 2200, like 202050 or 2100, 2100, we know we're crashing. We know we're going lower. If it stays above 2200, we may not be dropping lower. Uh, Bitcoin is still dropping tonight, but it is not dropping enough. Now, this downturn is, is pretty steep because it's $3,000 in just a few days. It ran to $40,000. Doge uh, is boring as hack. It's staying in the 30 to 33 range for almost three weeks. Doge has a psychological price point at this point that if it falls under 30 and stays there, not $29.90 or something, but really $29 something, $29.20 that there may be a psychological impact that Doge is really now getting too cheap and that people are going to come in and buy, start buying. Which brings us back to AMP. Uh, AMP viewers are probably wondering what to do with it. I recommended this morning that AMP will eventually correct itself. Well, it's correcting itself now. The question is how low it's going to correct itself. I had said that AMP would correct itself if... Other coins were making news because it was dominating news because it was the only coin making news. It was having this beautiful run up. Everything else was boring. Well, now it's not that beautiful run up. And I got to say that whenever a coin doesn't do the same thing anymore, people get, ah, uh -huh, yeah, well, there you go. That was the end of that. So they get very sort of cataclysmic. Now, I don't want you to do that because that's wrong analysis. But here you go. This is what the coin did. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. It is no longer doing it. It reached a peak. It's come down a lot on that peak. Look at that peak. It's down, what, 25% of that mountain? So a lot of people may be losing their faith in AMP as a 25-cent coin. I am not. Or a 30-cent coin. I am not. But I want to know how cheap it can get. And then I think you really want to jump in. Now, here's what is unusual about AMP, is I think that your opportunity to buy AMP will be different than other coins with a market correction. How do I say that in another way? Is that AMP could easily go to seven cents tonight, and then the market is just sort of boring and flat, and you may want to go right in. I think it was, was it Deborah? I'm, I'm very bad with names. I think it was Deborah who bought AMP at seven cents two days ago and sold at 12 cents today. So she did a beautiful run on, on AMP. Seven cents out of 12 cents, great exit point. Um, and she can come back in. She can come back in <laughs> in a few hours, potentially, at seven cents to do it again. Um, but a lot of people are ready to come on in. And I think when they come on in, then we're going to go higher. Now, understand that if you come in on AMP, before the market correction happens, then you're going to get downdrafted, meaning you buy AMP, let's say, at $0.07, cents potentially, in a few days from now, and then there's a market crash. 
you're going to go down with the market crash. You could go back to three cents. Just understand that risk involved. Which brings us to the market correction. When is the market correction? Well, we now see where this market's really heading. Um, I can go in the split screen tonight, but I don't think I really need to at the moment just yet, which is the coins are not doing well. They're not doing well. They're, uh, any coin that does well, it does well for a few hours, and that's it for like two weeks. <laughs> No one makes money for a coin that does well for a few weeks. Understand the lore of cryptocurrency, which is 1,000% return in three months, or 100% return in a few days or a few hours. And most coins aren't doing that for people. Here is what you need to know. Buying and selling people, no one can buy, excuse me, buying and holding people, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Doge, you can't buy in these coins at these price levels. They're too expensive at the moment. Flipping the coins, buying them at a market correction, and then selling them out, you can't do that either. You can't do that with Polygon, Engine, DeSantisland, because they're not cheap enough. Day tradable coins, yeah. So the day traders are having the only opportunities to in the last three days. And hopefully you have understood that as well. It doesn't have to be just in a day. You can hold it for two days, as 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 the viewers saw with AMP. Bought it seven cents, held it for, I think it was probably two and a half days and sold out at 12 cents. Made perfect money on that. Phantom, a few hours. <laughs> and at, what was it, 40 cents or four cents? I can't remember what it was. Went to 80 cents. So those are the opportunities. They're very, very quick, sudden moving coins. How do you find those coins? Exactly how I recommended early in this video. You go into your Coinbase or your Gemini or your CoinMarketCap.com and you rank the coins first on, uh, on position to see which coins are having the biggest move right now. And when you see that biggest move right now, then you understand that is a coin that I potentially need to get in and get out. Uh, Tonight, what are those coins? <laughs> it's not Alchemist. It is um, Mir, which is up 18% right now. Uh, it is Phantom, which is 11%, but Phantom's opportunity may have passed itself. The opportunity was there earlier today. And you just have to see if there's anything else breaking out in the in the list. You know, Barnbridge is up 3%, but it's had a few big runs. Day, D-I, D-I, D-A-I has had a few breakout moments in the last few days. Uh, and Keep Network, which is not held on Gemini, has had day after day really good runs. You see it right there. You can't get Keep Network on Gemini, but you can get it elsewhere. And it's just having day after day good runs. So the takeaway, it's a harder market than February to May. In February to May, you could literally buy any coin. <laughs> in cryptocurrency. Close your eyes, uh, close the computer, and come back in a few months, and you'd be fine. You'd be up 1,000%, 100%. It didn't make a difference which coin you chose. You could just choose any coin. You wouldn't mess it up. Now, you literally have to be, you literally have to find a needle in a haystack. You have to watch this channel and understand, uh, as I give you updates of these coins are breaking out, which coins to really stock. Ultimately, if I miss a coin, if I miss a coin by a couple hours, then ultimately I provided you the skill set to show so you know how to find that coin. So, for example, Phantom, uh, it was not it, it, it did run after morning's crypto, but before this broadcast. So, if you had been watching Phantom earlier in the day, you would seen that breakout, got in, got out, and now say, okay, I made my money. Um, or whether it's um, it's Amp, you understood. You know, I just think it's going to go from seven to twelve. I'll just take the I'll just take the risk, and you did well, and you got out of twelve. So, what do I think is going to happen first? Do I think we're going to have more breakouts? Or we're going to have market correction. I think we're going to have more more um, breakouts. I think there's a lot of investors now seeing that these breakout coins, the amps and the phantoms and these these short term pop coins that sort of pop for a few hours or a few days, you can see a lot more of that and less of this sort of broad movement of the, of the industry. I think you'll see that first and then you're going to see the correction. The correction is taking so much time to get low. It's just, it's eroding and 
ultimately, the best indicator is Ethereum at this point. If Ethereum gets under 2200, I think you're going to see your coin ready to, to buy, whatever coin it is, whether it's Polygon or Engine. But until we get to that 2200 for Ethereum, if we're staying in the 23, 24, 25 on Ethereum, mm -mm, we're, not, we're not correcting. We're not correcting. We're staying up there. So what I recommend you do is the following. I recommend you to first gauge yourself in determining whether you like to buy and hold coins for several years, whether you like to get in and out of coins um, in a few day period or a few hour period, and then figure out which coins you like and give yourself more than two coins. Because as you've seen in this broadcast, you may like, as I do, Live Peer, Polygon, and Decentraland, but ultimately, none of those coins may reach the price point, and then you say, oh, well, I have nothing to reach for, and the fourth coin you didn't consider did reach the price point. So consider more than, consider enough coins so that you give your opportunity to get the profits where they are. Next, really consider those day trading opportunities because, or two day trading opportunities, because those are the opportunities to make profits. Remember, we're here to make profits. We're not here to be fans of coins. So you may not have any allegiance whatsoever to AMP you just want to make money on or fandom or something like that. And finally, really check sporadically throughout the day if you have the time because these coins are making fascinating moves at strange hours lately. The fact that coins are, are, are tanking in the, mo in the middle of the day is just very weird. It's, just, it's very, very strange optics across the board. But as we go into the big evening, what should you think about as we look in the split screen? Is there any coin on the on my left is coinmarketcap.com? Is there any coin that is not on Gemini that is on other platforms that's having a big breakout today that you need to know about? Yes. So it's XDC, which I detail on Mornings Crypto. It is up 40% right now. So I think when I detailed it this morning on Mornings Crypto, it was up 29%. So had you gotten in even that late in that broadcast, you would be up um you would be up almost 10% from where I suggested it. Phantom's up 11%, but that's it. There is no other coin in the top 100 market capitalization that is over 20% up at the moment. Now they were may have been up more than that earlier today. Um and how about the coins taking the biggest hit right now? Exactly the coins you've been asking about. <laughs> so the worst performing coins in the top 100 market capitalization right now, Shiba, which is literally just basically, really just taking people, the dry cleaners, down 10%. AMP is down 10% right now. So it's nine, nine, four, nine cents in a, in a quarter. Kusama, which Crayola was asking about, down 7% down today, down 27% for the seven days. Chills, um, which went live at the same time, AMP went live on Coinbase, down 7% today. And here's an example of one coin, Internet Computer, down 21% for the seven days. This was a new coin that went on a lot of the platforms in the last few weeks. It shows you just because a coin goes new on a, live, on a platform doesn't mean it's an opportunity to buy the coin. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big evening's crypto and overnight's crypto. During the overnight's feed, I am in the live chat. So if you have questions about a respective coin or price point, or if you see anything happening and you want insight and, 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 and want to bounce off with me about the coin, jump in the live chat. Share your questions and information. A lot of viewers also have their opinions, and they're very informed, and they're learning really well. If you've had a success story, you're buying something, you're selling something, you turn a profit, say what you did, say what you bought it at, and say what you sold it at. Our Overnight's Crypto Shows have been really massive blockbuster hits, so I really appreciate your patronage. And with that, make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video. Consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Calcino VIP. Stay with me. Stay informed. Stay focused. Every morning is Morning's Crypto at 9.30. Evening's Crypto at 7. And Overnight's Crypto starts at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time every night on this channel. Stay informed. Stay focused. Have a beautiful evening. And stay with LA for more.